Hi everyone, my name is Keely and I'm the owner and creator here at Soy and Shea and thank you so much for joining me for another soap making video. Last week we looked after the reindeer, so this week we need to look after Santa and I am going to be making Santa's eggnog and cookies soap. Let's go! Alright, so on to the next Christmas soap here. Again, I have my usual oils in my bucket, all down to room temperature. And we're going to pour in our lye water solution here, mix it up to emulsion and split it out for a few colours. Okay, so let's get our colours going. Into my bigger of the small jugs, I am going to put in some bronze sparks and that is to represent that sort of cinnamon and clove that is in here. Into my other one here, I'm going to just add in a little bit of water dispersible titanium dioxide. It's This fragrance oil does have 2% vanillin and it does say that it discolors, but it, I've used other fragrances that have that 2% and it just goes a really nice sort of tan color. So that is what I'm hoping it will do. In my main bucket here, I am putting in some grandeur mica and because I just have to, we are also going to boost that up with a little bit of extravagance. Now don't worry, I do have another big bag of this one to one side. I will never let myself run out of this gorgeous mica. That is kind of that sort of yellowy look that you get from eggnog that I'm trying to achieve there. So we don't have to do too much more mixing to get all that together. I am actually going to put my fragrance oil in now and mix all this up together. This is smelling so good. Just like a really nice eggnog should smell. Let's get that all shaken out. I'm going to mix these colours up and then we'll go and grab our soap mould. This is a very, very well behaving fragrance by the looks of things. Um, it should be alright. I might still trying to decide what sort of swirl I'm going to do in this one. Oh, that was silly, but that's okay because I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to do an in the pot drop swirl with this particular fragrance. So that doesn't really matter too much. Let's grab our mold in here. And, and again, I know that these aren't very traditional Christmas colors, but as I've said in the other video, I have just not been inspired by Christmas fragrances at all. So I just thought I was going to go for something just different. We'll just, yeah, go for something very, very different this year. I've poured out pretty much all of that soap in there. And as I said, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to do an in the pot um, drop swell that white has thickened up so this should have some beautiful effect to it so let's pour that in that's going to be gorgeous when it cuts oh I can't wait this is I think this is the hardest bit about soap making is having to wait to see what it looks like on the inside the next day the rest of it yeah, you just you roll with the punches as you go along, you know, accelerating fragrances and all that. The hardest bit is that wait for it to cut. <laughs> well, that is that is for me. So for all you soap makers out there, what do you find to be the hardest bit of making soap? Are you like me and just it's that waiting to see what this looks like the next day? Or is there another part of the actual soap making? Maybe the cure process of waiting so that you can actually try a bar of your soap. Let me get these all scraped out and then we will start on the top. So I just went to go and put the last of that soap on the top and then just as I was doing it, I remembered something that I saw on a video that came up on my Instagram channel and I thought I wonder if I can do this with soap as well I'm pretty sure well looks like I'm going to be able to do it I've seen other versions 
of this being done but I thought this might be something a little bit fun and a little bit different for the top of this soap. So all I've done is I've put that remaining soap which is actually still quite liquidy so it's not at piping consistency. This is very very runny. If I actually stood this bag up and um, even without squeezing it it would actually just run out of the tip here. Um, but all I'm doing is putting lines across my soap here. So I'm going to come all the way to the end. I'm trying to keep them even but I think I've just got thicker as I'm coming down this end but that's okay. All these bars are just going to be a little bit different with their topping. So keep coming all the way through and then anything I've got left in this little piping bag I will put into a little mold and that can become like a little guest soap for someone. So I keep coming. This fragrance is smelling so good. You can definitely smell that vanilla in there. So it be interesting to see how dark this one goes. If you're interested to see how dark the fragrance oil goes, don't forget to actually follow along with me on Instagram because I do post pictures of my soaps once they are ready to go up onto the website and when they become available at markets. So you can actually then see just how this fragrance oil really behaves. So we are almost to the end there. I'm going to see if I can get just maybe a couple of extra smaller ones where they're a little bit wider. So before before this soap actually sets up on me I'm going to grab a skewer and I am just going to actually put my pointy end in and I'm just going to run down each of those rows and create that sort of chevron look across the top of the soap and that's just something very different never done that on any of my soaps before I love watching when people do the peacock swirl soaps and this is very very similar but it does take that little bit extra to put all those lines on there oh I've gone really winky wonky going down there let's try and get that a bit straighter and that final bit down there I'm loving how that tops come up that's looking really, really good. I'm glad that suddenly popped into my mind. I follow this, um, oh, I don't know whether it's a hashtag or an actual channel, but I follow this channel over on um, Instagram called Sweet Video, and they do things like this, and sometimes I think, oh, I wonder if I can do that in soap. I'm just gonna put the rest of that soap that's in there into these little molds here and they can get given away as little guest soaps to someone. And well, we can't just give Santa eggnog. He needs some cookies to go with his eggnog too. So if you watch the behind the scenes video this week, we made these little chocolate chip cookies. I actually made the, the actual base of these cookies without a mold. I'm um, just a little bit of piping. So it's very easy to do even if you don't have any molds. And um, you can use, you can make your little cookie or your chocolate chips out of soap dough if you don't have a chocolate chip mold. So they are very easy to make and you don't need fancy bits for it. And I am going to just stick in my cookie so it's halfway in on each of these peat bars of soap. I... I'm loving how that is coming together. These ones, usually I do my embeds the um, the day before. I used to do them on the same day and pop them in the fridge and then do my soap. But then I actually started to get a little bit smarter with the way I was working and I started doing them the day before. I was going to do some melt and pour gingerbread cookies to go on the top of this one. And I was all set up to do that and then decided, no, I'm going to see if I can pipe these cookies instead. Just to have something different rather than that usual gingerbread cookie um, mould. So these ones I actually made, oh, these were made probably about an hour, an hour and a half before I started making this soap. So if ever you do make your embeds out of... Um, when you're piping and you want to use them the same day you just pop them in the fridge to really help to set them up they are a little bit sticky and they are a little bit delicate but you can still actually work with them when they're in this state 
Oh, this fragrance oil is smelling so good. My mouth is absolutely watering. I have got a rule in our house at the moment that if, if hubby wants junk food in the house, you know, chips, biscuits, whatever else, it must have milk in it to stop me from eating it. So <laughs> that's the really bad thing. I am now craving a really nice sweet drink and a biscuit and I know there is nothing in the house so I think I'm gonna have to go and have a piece of fruit instead all right so we are down to putting in our last little cookie here oh that was a I say little cookie but that one is a huge cookie all right so just as a final touch in here I have got a little bit of latte mica and I'm just giving that a very light dusting to make it look like we have got some cinnamon that has been dusted across the top of our eggnog and that is looking so good it is smelling delicious I am almost done there it's, I'm really, really pleased with how this has come up. I am going to bring you down for a closer look of Santa's eggnog and cookies. So here it is up close. I am absolutely loving the top on this one. It looks like there is caramel drizzle on the top of this eggnog. Looks like something you'd maybe find in, say, Starbucks or maybe a Gloria Jeans if you're here in Australia. It is smelling so good as well. And that little dusting of that cinnamon sort of look has really brought that together. I'm going to leave this one sit overnight and then we're going to come back tomorrow and see what swirls we get from those two different textured soaps. So Santa's eggnog and cookies is ready to cut. It is smelling delicious. You really get that cinnamon, nutmeg and clove come through on this one. And that drizzle or that design on the top still looks like a drizzle of thick caramel on the top of that one. And those cookies are just so cute. Let's get this one cut open and see what the design is like on the inside because I think we're going to get some really, really good patterns on this one. So let's make sure all of our little cookies are cut properly. We're lined up at the end and let's go through and we'll see what swirls we've got on the inside. And we're almost through. And there's that sound you all like. All right, so let's take a look at this first bar here. And how mouth-watering does that look? I love how that looks like there is caramel that's been dropped into that eggnog there. Loving the top with the little cookie. I do have glycerin rivers in here and I am working on a little bit of a thought pattern for me because I haven't had glycerin rivers for a long, long time and um, I have been pre-making my titanium dioxide and it usually sits on the side for a little bit before I use it. When I made this soap I had run out and I made up some titanium dioxide specifically for it and I wondered if I would once again get glycerin rivers. So I am going to make some more soap with that new batch to see if it's whether it is to do with the fact that it's freshly made or whether it is because um, I got the ratios wrong with mixing my water and titanium dioxide. But I will keep you posted on that. But I am really, really pleased with this. Uh, as I've always said, I think glycerin rivers can actually add to the whole look. It kind of adds that extra colour. You can see all the way away. You can see around all that colour that you've got that real translucent look to it. So I think it kind of really does add to the whole design of a soap. So I'm never too bothered when I do get them in there. But I am very interested to find out whether having your titanium dioxide made up days in advance actually helps to stop those glycerin rivers because in my uh, reindeer food soap that I did that was when I used the last of the titanium dioxide I had and I didn't get glycerin rivers in that one and this as I said was a fresh lot that I made up so as I said I will keep you updated on that one 
So I hope you have enjoyed watching how I make Santa's eggnog and cookies. If you did, why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below. If you've got any questions, I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And until the next Christmas themed video, I hope you have a great week and I will see you then. Bye.